It is just about 844. It was founded in 1905 to cater to African-American readers. Today, the Chicago Defender is the oldest African-American newspaper in the country, celebrating its 110th anniversary this year. And tomorrow, they are also celebrating women here in the Chicago area with their Women, women of Excellence Awards luncheon. Here this morning to tell us all about the newspaper is publisher Cheryl Maynard, Chicago Defender's oldest African-American newspaper in the country. So let's talk about this. Good to see you, Cheryl. Good morning. Thank you. Good to see you uh, as well. 110 years. Yes. 110 years catering to African-American communities here in the Chicago area. Yes. What do you say about this? Turning 110 years old when so many newspapers now are folding or going online. Yeah, I say that we are very fortunate. Um, that for 110 years now we have been putting out the news and information to our community that helps them in their everyday lives. So, and making decisions, raising your family, the decision to even come to Chicago from the South. Yes. Um, we have been an institution that has had an, a tremendous uh, impact on our community and we're part of the family here. What do you say to people who talk, still talk about and question the relevance today? That you know what, there's the Sun Times, there's the Tribune, there's this newspaper, there's that newspaper. Is there still a need for the Chicago Defender out there? Yeah, absolutely. I know you get that question. Absolutely, we get that question, um, but yes, there is a need. Uh, if you look at the race that's going on right now uh, for the mayoral um, seat in the city of Chicago. There is a perspective that comes from the Chicago Defender and the other um, black publications, the Latino publications. We all have a different take mm -hmm. on what the tone is and the voices of our community. And we speak to those issues. As a member of the black press, we have a motto and our mission statement is we reserve the right to plead our own cause. And so that's what we do with the Chicago Defender. To help keep it going, I have a lot of friends and sometimes myself, I will do this. Um, we so many times see the Sun Times being sold right there at the intersection. Yes. They demand at that intersection, especially in our community, that if you're selling the Sun Times, have the Chicago Defender there too. Yes. Does that help? Do you hear a lot of people say yeah, it's do. hard to find where is it? It, it is. I think that we hear that from time to time, and yeah. I think that the reason that you hear that more often is that people were used to us being a daily publication. Right. And so since we're a weekly publication, we're still at a lot of the same places that we always were, gas stations, Walgreens, um, et cetera, et cetera. There's three spaces just at Union Station alone where you can buy it. Good deal. Um, but you know, there's just that perception, but our, our readers, they find it, they, they get wish, it. They, we sure do find it, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about the luncheon tomorrow. Yes. Women of Excellence Awards honorees. You've got 900 people expected to attend this event. Yeah. Let's talk about some of the people being honored tomorrow. It's big. Big, big names. Yeah. Well, you know, thank you very much. You will be our mistress of ceremonies <laughs> along Matt with Matt Gill. from WBON. Correct. Um, so the Women of Excellence tomorrow will be honoring 50 women. Um, who are making an impact in our community and they strive for excellence in everything that they do. So you've got every kind of um, uh, professional woman as well as teachers and we have um, some community activists, mentors, all kinds of women that are, that are um, showcased. Linda Johnson Rice, who's the chairman of uh, Johnson Publishing Company, mm -hmm. will also be our keynote speaker. So we're very excited to have a room full of women tomorrow. Are tickets still available? Tickets are available. Um, and we just have the information office. for everybody right there. Sure. Um, we have a full screen information for everybody at home to see. It, again, the Women of Excellence luncheon starts tomorrow at 1130 at the Hyatt Regency Hotel right over there on Wacker. Yes. Ticket information. 312-225-2400. Cheryl Maynard, thank you so much for joining us thank this you morning. For we appreciate me. it and congratulations. Thank you. Happy anniversary. Thank and you. I will see you tomorrow see along you with Matt McGill. See you Hopefully tomorrow. We'll see you too. Corey, back over to you. All right.